Hi, and welcome to Simply Pamela, where we want to do what? Help everyone to be simply fabulous. If this is your first time here, I like to say welcome, welcome. And to all my returning subscribers, I like to say, hey girl, so glad you came back to see me. All right, so in this video, what I want to do is show you how you can take some of your summer pieces and just transition them right on into fall. Because I'm looking at some of these videos on YouTube and they're just talking about fall and I'm just getting so sad. I mean, I do love fall fashion, but anyway, y'all already know. If you've watched my videos before, you know spring is my time of year. So let's talk about this dress. This dress is just perfect for the summer, it's perfect for the spring. You know, it just has the two straps here. But the way I'm taking it into fall is first, I'm just putting on this T-shirt. This is just a graphic tee that I have. It has the V-neck. I think it looks nice with this neckline right here. So I just took a T-shirt. You can do that with any dress that you have, any sleeveless dress that you have. You can just add a T-shirt up under it. I just, to make it more fall, I added my full um, suede belt. Uh, I can't, I think this may have come from Ross. I can't remember, but I added the belt and it has a gold detail on it, the gold buckle. And then I paired it with my shoes and the shoes are the same color, almost the same material. These came from the Goodwill. Love this shoe. And then I added my gold anklet and that's a big anklet. When I saw that one, I was like, what? Because you know I love the big jewelry. So I added my gold anklet. So I like how that looked. And then I just kind of coordinate that. The, the shoes, the gold, and then the gold and the color in the belt. I thought that re went really well together. I just accentuated with some gold jewelry. So I added a couple of short gold necklaces. I added my gold and red ring from Avon that you've seen before. And then I added my gold bracelet. I added my gold heart earrings. Really like those. And then that was, oh, and then I almost forgot to talk about my purse. And this purse came from Ross and this is a um, Bessie Johnson purse that you all seen before. And I just thought that was cute with the, with the outfit. And then I'm just topping it off with these shades that I got from Kato. And they have the white or the like the off white and the gold. And the dress has the white or off white in it as well. And these are the shades. So I really like how this turned out. So I'm just going to show you a couple of more outfits. And I just want to, you know, hopefully inspire you to take your, you know, summer pieces and don't say, OK, I'm through with that for the summer. But let's see how we can co uh, incorporate these summer pieces right on into fall and then maybe right on even into winter. So I will be back with the next look. Alrighty, ladies, so I am back with the next look and just continuing to show you how I am taking this dress and bringing it on into fall. So this time what I did was just added this black top and it is the eyelet material. I love this material with the holes in it. Uh, it just makes me really think of spring and summer. However, because it's black, it can go right on into the fall. And then if you're in the South like I am, Fall is still really warm, so you can get away with a lot of things that maybe you did wear in the summertime. So I just took this top and it works even though this has that square neckline, just like the top, it looks fine together. So it looks it looks cute. And what I did was just paired it with a belt and I have this black belt that I got from Kato and you see it has the gold in it. So I really like that. I thought that was different, but notice how I tried to tie it in with my shoes. So I have these shoes that I got from Ross. They are a suede shoe and you see the heel, uh, the inside of the heel is gold. So I tried to coordinate that with the belt and I just thought that looked really cute together. So just think about ways like that, that you can just kind of coordinate your pieces <clears throat> so with that gold heel, black and gold, and then black and gold in the belt, that just brings it all together. So I really like that. And of course, I added my anklet. Uh, you can barely see it, but I do have my silver anklet on. And then I just added my purse. And see, again, I got the black and the gold going with the purse. You've seen that a million times, but I love this purse. Added my black bracelets. And then I have the that black one there. And then for my earrings, I think you can probably see them better on this side. I just added, you know, I always like big earrings, but sometimes I do like something simple 
but still big. So I like how big these were. So that's why I got these. And they are wooden earrings, so I really like that. And then I added my hat. You've seen this before. So this is a, a straw hat, but I'm taking it on into the fall. And I just flipped it up on one side because normally it's just down like that. But I just took it and I just flipped it up on that one side to create a different kind of look. So you can do all kinds of things with your hats. And then I'm going to top it off with my light cat eye shades. So this is the look. So tell me, what do you think of this look? I think it turned out really cute. Oh yeah, and I, well, I probably told you before it has pockets, but just a reminder, it has pockets. Alrighty, I will be back with the next look. Alrighty, ladies, so I am back with the final look. And this time I went with a white shirt. Now, I know people always say after a certain time, you don't wear white. Girl, do not listen to those people. That is not true. You know, if it's something that you like and it looks nice, wear it. It doesn't matter what the color is. And I want to show you now, this is a long sleeve shirt. And you see it kind of puffs out. So it is a long sleeve shirt. But I did just ruch it up. I just pushed it up. So, because like I said, here in the South in the fall, girl, it's not that, it's not that cold. It's not cold. It's cooler, but it's not cold yet. So I can wear this long sleeve and just push it up. And then I just added my white belt and I'm going to show you what I did with this belt. Y'all remember, if you watched some other videos earlier, I was looking so hard for a white belt. Just could not find a white belt anywhere. I did finally... Um, find a wide white belt. I think it was from Walmart and I like it, but I actually got the wrong size. So I may have to punch my holes or whatever, but I do like it. But then I went to Ross and look what I found this white belt. Now I'm going to show you what I did. Now this white belt, see in the back, see, it has a little emblem in the back and that's fine. You see how I turned it around, but I found that white belt at Ross. And then I found another white belt. I mean, almost like a day or two later, uh, at Cato. I, have, I haven't been in Cato in a while. So, you know, ladies, don't forget about your stores. Don't forget about your Cato. Don't forget about your Ross, your little places like that, TJ Maxx, all of that. So, and I found a little bit white belt there. I said, look at that. At the end of summer, now I find all my white belts. That's fine because I will be rocking them next year. And I will be rocking them before this year's out as well. So, I just took this belt, turned it around to the back, and I like the look that it created. And then I just added my white mules slide-ins that I got from Ross and I've had these for a long time and I think they are perfect for fall they're not really high so they are comfortable I added my white pearl anklet with it so I like how that turned out and then I just added my jewelry so I just added my white jewelry so my bracelets and then I have on um the earring it's just like the black one that I had on before, but I had it in, I got it in white as well. And it's that wooden earring. So again, it's simple, but it's a big one. So I like that. And then I added my jelly bag because I'm still going to wear this on into the fall. So I added my jelly bag. And this time I just added my uh, fascinator, my little hat fascinator. And I just turned it around because I wear it either way, either with the uh, veil like in the front or sometimes I wear it in the back. So I changed that up as well. And then I'm going to top it off with my white cat eye glasses. And this is the final look, ladies. So what do you think of this last look? Because all I want to do is just show you how you can take the pieces that you've been wearing all summer and just take them right on into fall. Because over here at Simply Pamela, we really try to get the most out of our wardrobe. So I hope I've given you some inspiration uh, for your wardrobe. Please make sure, I mentioned it at the beginning, but make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you share the video because we're really trying to grow the Simply Pamela family. All righty, see you next time. Bye.